coming up next here on Joel the Nose, I'm gonna pick the five best selling fragrances here at Osme Perfumery, the hottest five fragrances that come in and out of the boutique like hotcakes. And I'm gonna rank them in what I think is my favorite order of these really popular fragrances. So stay tuned, it's coming up next. Welcome back to Joel the Nose here at Osme Perfumery, as you can see. And today's topic, as you saw, is I am picking the top five best-selling fragrances right here at Osme Perfumery, and I'm gonna rank them in order of what I think are my favorite or the best fragrances. These are obviously all great. They're all popular, and it's kind of interesting. You know, I see what comes in and out of here all the time, and I had my idea of what would be in the top five, and I was shocked. Maybe I had one or two correct out of this top five, but there's some surprises here. So this will be interesting to see for you guys what you thought maybe are some of the more popular selling niche fragrances right now. And of course, this list always changes depending on the month, the time of the year, the season, you know, these things, it's always evolving. But right now, talking to Maurice here, the owner at Osme, these are his five best selling fragrances. And what I'm doing is I'm ranking them in the order that I like them. This is not in the order of their best selling. These are all five of the best selling and I'm picking them in my order. So coming in actually first, I'm gonna do an honorable mention. This would be technically number six. This is Flamenco. Flamenco from Ramon Manigal, the Spanish niche house. I love this house. I have a few of their fragrances. They do oud maybe better than almost anybody out there. But this fragrance actually is a great, for those of you looking for a summer or spring fragrance, gotta say this is gonna be a great one for you. It has got raspberry, it's got apple, it's got violet, rose, jasmine, just a really, almost, I would say, a gourmand-like, let me spray it here for you. It's almost that, that, that red apple, raspberry, violet comes together almost like in like, I would describe it like eating a piece of fruity candy like almost like a, uh, an apple raspberry hard candy that you crunch in your mouth. It's very light, it's very fresh. Perfect again for kind of spring, summer weather. And this surprises me. I'm glad to know that Ramon Monegal has one of the top five or six here because although I love the house, I didn't know that this one was so popular, but apparently it comes in and out of the store constantly. Now let's get right into the top five. Number five is, you guys recognize this, Delina. La Rose, Delina La Rose from, of course, Parfums de Marly, the venerable French niche house, which is one of the, if not most popular niche fragrance houses in the world. Does very well here at Osme. This, many of you know, is their latest feminine fragrance release from the house came out. Um, I guess it came out late last year. Uh, into early 2021. They actually had their official launch party here at Osme. Some of you have seen the video I did. If not, you can go look. Really cool event um, with Yvonne Jacqueline, the managing director for the United States for Parfums de Marley, came here, launched this with a lot of his staff. How would I describe this? If you like Delina, you know, there's the original Delina. There's a lot of flankers already. I think this is the third or fourth flanker of, of the original Delina. This one is, to me, a fresh lighter version of the original. So if you're looking again for something for spring or summer and you love the original Delina women out there, this is a men if you're looking for something for your girlfriend or your wife, women if you're looking for a great fragrance and you don't know Delina, you gotta know it. It's literally the one of the most popular fragrances that they sell and this is a lighter, fresher version of the original Delina La Rose. Obviously got a lot of rose in there. Coming in now at number four, of course, no list right now in the world of popular niche selling fragrances would be complete without Herba Pura. Herba Pura right now, you know, probably if you look at straight sales, maybe one or two in the store. But again, this one, it's just so crowd pleasing. It's that, that fruity note at the top just is addictive. They call it Herba Crack here at the store because it is like crack, it's addicting, people love it. They come in almost every time I'm here, which is quite a lot as you guys can see, somebody's buying this. 
in and out of the store constantly. They're constantly getting new shipments in. I've never quite seen anything like it in the four years that I've been coming here of something that goes in and out so much and it's so popular. Herba Pura had to make the list. All right, coming in, number three on my list. And this is Roja Parfums Elysium. This is from their Parfum collection. Again, for those of you who aren't familiar, he did this, you know, about a year and a half ago, came out with his Parfum collection. All that means is that it's in the Cologne style, meaning it's got a lighter, fresher, more citrus top note. It does not mean it's a Cologne fragrance uh, in the concentration level. This is actually an Eau de Parfum, so you're gonna get extremely high quality Roja Parfum, but in the Cologne style, meaning lighter, fresher. This one, I gotta say, People comment on, on my page or on my, you know, in, in my videos all the time. I see this talked about on Facebook all the time in the, in the forums. People seem to go crazy over Elysium. It's a great fragrance. I gotta say I like it. It's again, a fresh fragrance, another perfect summer, spring fragrance. It's right at the top, you get that grapefruit. For me, this is very much a grapefruit fragrance. It's got lime, it's got apple. It's got cedar in the dry down, which I really like. Cedar's one of my favorite base notes. Gotta spray that again. Really just for a freshy type clean fragrance and Roja Dove quality, it's hard to beat. So that's why it's my number three. Coming in number two, this is another one that threw me for a loop. I was surprised. I happen to love this fragrance, but I didn't know it was so popular here in the store. And that is Grease Charnel from BDK. From BDK Parfums, you can see there. Wonderful fragrance. Um, what, how would I describe this? I gotta tell you, this is spicy cardamom at the top, but it's got a beautiful fig note. It's got black tea also at the top. It drives down into this kind of like bourbon vetiver uh, heart note and base, and it's just really unusual. Ah. Ooh, just, I love, I love vetiver fragrances. I love fig fragrances. I love tea fragrances. So this hits a lot of the notes that I like. That's why I have this coming in number two among the five top selling fragrances here at Osme. And without further ado, coming in at number one, and I'm so glad, so glad that this is in the top five best selling because it can't come from, in my mind, a better house and this is the house of Peccato Original from Italy, the Italian niche house, the perfumer, pharmacist, Silvia Monti, who is a wonderful, kind woman, just super talented. And this is Mastro Del Core. Some of you may have seen, I've done a full review of this. This is in my collection. This is their latest release, just came out beginning of this year, end of last year, beginning of this year. And, yeah, uh, Look at the bottle. I love these bottles. Everything she designs is with specificity. Go to their website. You can see the black and the red actually has to do with passion and sin. Everything's got this, again, kind of sin and passion and sensualness to it. That's why Peccato Original, which by the way in Italian means original sin. So there's a lot of biblical references, really cool stuff going on here. But most of all, the juice is great. I wear this one probably the most of any fragrance I have right now. Had it for a couple months and I wear it all the time. It's for those of you who don't know and haven't seen my review, it's got again this kind of spicy cardamom top note, but it's got this beautiful chai tea with dried fruit accord. Then it also has some ginger in there, mate tea, which is a, in a special tea from South America, specifically Argentina. So if you like kind of this fruity tea, Ginger note, this is a fragrance for you. If you haven't tried this house, I implore you, order some decants, try them out, okay? Order some samples, try out their collection. It's really amazing. It's what niche fragrance and niche perfumery is all about. So there you have it, my top five slash six fragrances ranked in order of how I like them, the five, six best-selling fragrances here at Osme Perfumery. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. This is Joel the Nose.